Hey friends. Um, so I don't do a lot of videos on like tutorials on things like Wix, but this is something that was bugging me and maybe it was bugging you and maybe I can help you out, save you a little bit of time. So I've been using Wix for a long time and for quite a while I've had um, menu headings like here, calendar programs, books and stuff that when you would click on the heading itself, it would have to take you to a page. For example, right here, I had a heading that said programs and workshops, and it would take you to this page. Um, and, um, and, and then I, I'd still have all the sub, all the subheadings would still fall into place. So if you went into programs, you click on it, you'd see all these sub pages. I, I could do that part. That was fine, but I didn't want people to have to click on the page itself. I wanted that to be unclickable. Does that make sense? Is that a word unclickable? I don't know. And books and stuff. I didn't want people to be able to click on the link books and stuff. I just wanted that to bring them to all the sub menu stuff. And, and uh, the way of doing that is different than what I've been finding online. And it's changed a little bit uh, within Wix. This is 2023 that we're talking right now, but here's what you end up doing instead. So rather than this ridiculous workaround that I did here, where I created like a programs and workshops page so that if people wanted to still get to those drop downs, they were right here. I didn't want them to do that. That's like one more page than we really need. Um, here's what you do instead. So you go to uh, your horizontal menu in this case, so we're going to double click on that. So it brings us up to the manage menu. Then, and this page has already been done. So it's already, I've already solved the issue here, but what you're gonna see here is that instead of a page, this is a, a, a sub, what do they call it? Hang on, we're gonna go down here to add menu items. What these are is they're called sub menu titles, sub menu titles. So you click on one of those and, and let's just call this one, you know, tutorial tutorial silliness okay so this is the tutorial silliness one and and now that i have that um and i can drag and drop it i can put this someplace else i can put it way up here and uh um and 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 then i can drop pages into it so for example i could choose to put like the uh, contacts into there and and now it it uh it, it acts as a sub menu item for that page, but tutorial silliness itself won't be linked to anything. It only acts as the button to get you to the drop downs. Okay, so again, that's changed a little bit, it looks like, from how they used to do it. They used to have a like a create folder or something like that. And I'm gonna get rid of all of this because because I don't well, I'll just undo it later. Okay, there you go. So that's all I wanted to show you. So hopefully that helps somebody. It took me the longest time to figure it out. And I didn't love the, uh, the, the kind of the, the hairiness of all these extra pages that I had created instead. Hoping that helps. Okay, be well.